hello guys today I'm going to show you um, how you can properly install the uh, b2 project on your computer and how you can properly mint your own NFT collections uh, with the b2 app so first of all uh, you have to download the b2 and then uh, you will have a zip file then you can extract the file and go to the folder and another folder you will have the documentation folder so if you open this folder I mean if you mean uh, so if you open this index.html so you will have this documentation here so let me go through all of this process so first of all you have to download the node.js on your computer with your version like as you can uh, download the node.js from here so here is the download option here is the recommended download option so I'm using Linux operating system so that's why it is my version and if you are using Windows then you have to download for the Windows then you have to install it on your computer and then go to the next step just go to the folder the bit2 folder so you can go to bit2 folder and open the folder in a code editor so just um, go to the bit2 folder and you have to open it uh, with a visual code editor so you can open it with any code editor uh, so I would prefer the Visual Studio code so you can download it from here uh, for your version so I'm going to open it in my code editor like this so you can see I have those uh, files and folders in this project so you have to go to the terminal option the new terminal and then go to the documentation what it says here it says uh, run yarn so yarn is a package manager so if you don't have installed on your computer then you can install by via npm and npm comes with the node.js that is um, you install it on your computer so you can inst set up the yarn package manager so since I already have the package manager then I will run the command yarn and hit enter so you can see yarn is downloading all of those uh, necessary dependency packages for us so now you can run the yarn start command to run the project on your browser so here you can see um, the project is running on your browser so guys you can see the project is running on my browser now so now for the next steps so for the next step you have to um, yep so you have to scroll down here and copy the code from here copy all of this I mean all of this solidity code so here is uh, it is a smart contract uh, so it is a demo smart contract we just uh, we just uh, give it here uh, for the demonstration purpose so if you are um, using your own smart contract then you have to create it by your own so you can create it from here the remix.ethereum.org so in here you can um, create a file called anything uh, 
uh, that would be your contract name like uh, my contract my contract dot sol so now paste the code and change the name here also my contract and here is the uh, maximum minting amount so you can change any of the amount that you have in your NFT collections so scroll down a little bit here you will have two functions one is mint function and one is count function the mint function is for your minting options and the count functions is for the counter that how many items is uh, minted uh, for your smart contract so now uh, you can deploy it to the blockchain so I'm going to deploy it with a test networks so you have to deploy in the main networks you can see I have metamask installed in my computer here you can see and my network is going to be testnet so I have some demo ethereum on my wallet so for deploying this smart contract you will have to um, you will have to go here and you can compile the contract to choose from this drop down uh, your contract and then you have to uh, go to this deploy options and you have to select the injected provider metamask so you can see my wallet is now connected and uh, from this drop down you have to select your smart contract and then you have to create your uh, collection name uh, like my collections two and you can give it any kind of simple like uh, symbol like uh, my uh, uh, MC2 like this and for these parameter uh, you have to provide your uh, NFT collections metadata URI so that is uh, hosted um, by another web hosting so you can see I have already hosted this uh, metadata JSON file. Here is the metadata JSON file. You can see uh, I have created something like this. So you can pause the video and you can create this uh, metadata. So you can see these metadata hold some information. So one is very very important information here that is the your image URL here you can see an image URL that dot PNG format so you can have uh, JPG also so here is my metadata file and I have to copy this URL from here but not the JSON file you just have to copy the whole URL from here and you can paste it down here and then you can transact so here your metamask will popped up and you have to pay some gas fees you can see uh, I have to pay some gas fees so since it is the test network so that is for the testing purpose so if you want to uh, deploy it to the main networks you have to switch your networks from here so for now I am confirming it <coughs> so here you, you can see 
uh, view on ether scan click it here so here you can see it is pending now so it is uh, deploying my contract to the blockchain and see the metamask notification is come the transaction is confirmed so you can see now my transaction is success here so you can uh, go to the uh, contract and here you see you already have uh, some ethereum on your contract so now you have to go to the remix id again and from here sorry from this tab you have to copy your abi file here is the abi file just click it and copy it and create a file in here the uh, src folder contract folder so create a abi file like this b2abi.json or uh, you can prefer any kind of name and then just and then just paste it you should have the dot json extension here and paste the abi file and remember all your functions should uh, match in your avi file like this like um here is our minting function if you search here you can see this function is here and if you search the count function here you can see we have the count function here and it is say type is function okay so you have to keep keep in mind that the contract function name and your file function name should match then you have to go then you have to go then you have to go utils folder and web3 mint.js and you can see uh, here I imported the file here the b2 abi file I imported here and you have to import the file here and so obviously you should uh, change the contract address from here so here is now here is your new contract address from here it is the contract address so just copy it from here and change it and then one thing you should change the mint function so if in your contract you have function name like my mint like this so you have to match the name here also and you have to match the name here also so if you did some mistake the mint function will not some not work so since i already have implemented here and you can see i already implemented here then we can go to our project and let's connect with the metamask wallet so you can see the metamask is coming out and it will take some fees from me first of all it will connect me with this minting dev here you can see your wallet address is um, showing here and now you can try to mint mint now function and click mint now here you can see the metamask wallet is comes up here you can see um, it is saying um, it is taking me from uh, 0, 0.0 ethereum and some gas fees 
so I'm confirming this now since it is testnet so if you, if you deploy your smart contract with the mainnet it will work on mainnet also so now uh, I'm confirming it to mean the NFT you can see it is minting now yeah so you can see the transaction is complete now you can go now you can go to rinkby etherscan.io so search your wallet just reload here you can see in your wallet here is uh, the mint on uh, 28, 28 August so the function I mean the NFT is uh, already minted so we can see on OpenSea and here is here also here you can see one minute ago the mint function is work so I have minted some NFT and it is charged uh, 0.03 ether from me so if I now connect with the OpenSea platform here you can see uh, I'm connected with the uh, OpenSea now so if I go to my profile so if I go to my profile so you can see the collection is minted here you can see the new collection is minted here so guys um, there's some minting uh, b2 minting dev is work so hope I hope uh, you can understand you will definitely host your own minting dev and you can um, mint your own mint, mint your own NFT collections thank you guys